Hello YouTubers and welcome to the first review of the stuff I got for my birthday because it is my birthday to today. Woohoo! Anyway, this is my first review which is the Doctor Who 4 Doctor Adventure Set. This has the same it's the back the same background as the normal figures, normal classic figures. The same logo, a modern logo. Comes with a fork robot for my favourite Tom Mega story so far, Rebels of Death. A Dalek from Destiny of the Daleks. Tom Maker himself and Pyramids of Mars, which my friend Chris is gonna bring over for my party. These are the three more interesting figures. Anyway, I'm gonna do a review on Tom Maker just for a second. Now, here's the first review, which is is the mummy. As seen from Pyramids of Mars. I haven't seen that one. But I've seen some reviews on the mummy. There's no articulation at the head. The f arms can do a 360. The elbows bend, no bicep articulation. Wrists do a 360. The waist do a 360. And the thighs, they can also do a 360. So can the feet and the legs bent. Detail. This is brilliant. A really good figure. You can see the dents and all these layers and scratches to really catch out the the bandages. And you can see the red pyramid, which I really like, which is that power pack, I think. And this would go well with my new Pyramids of Mars Doctor, which looks really good. And this, with every dot, four doctor, you get a sonic screwdriver, but this one's much fatter, I think. It could just be me, or Batman much, who I watched the review from. That'll be on my next review. Accessories. The Knopfler jar and the power pack. I don't know a lot about Pyramids and Mars since I haven't seen it. Chris is coming over for a sleepover. He might bring that. And the jackal head. Now how good is that? You see all the hieroglyphics which are really good. Batman March said it looks a bit speck speckled. I can't really see it. But it sounds really good. But it's a really good sculpt. And the power pack. How good is that? You can't really see it well on my camera, unfortunately, but it has tiny hieroglyphics which went really good. So, so, this figure also comes in the classic Wave 2. I don't know if I might get the way the mummy from Wave 2. I don't know. So, that's the mummy out the way. Next one is the Vok Robot. From so far, one, I haven't seen much of Tom Baker's stories. And this one's one of my favourite, Robots of Death. This was the same articulation as SB7 or D84, which I'll, so I'll go on more into that later. I also have articulation, but hindered by the coat thing. The biceps, the elbows bend, the wrists have articulation, and the waist have articulation, so that the legs bend there's uh, there is 360 degrees in the thighs but it's really stiff and I'm thinking I might break it the legs bend they can even do a 360 which you've rarely seen on a Doctor Who figure that's pretty much it the detail this is pretty much the same sculpt as D84 SV7 I'm gonna take my SV7 look completely the same except for the communicator just lower down but, this is, this, the clothes are painted reflective green, and the head is painted, is painted reflective green. Now you see that, if I zoom in, no, it's a bit dodgy, but, it's labelled D, it's not D, it's labelled V4. It didn't come like that, because it comes with stickers, which comes with, kind of, comes with names and I only did them with mine V4. 
my dad took, took one to see what was going on and I lost the other sticker. So, and it also comes with interchangeable hand like SB7 was promised to. It has a quartz marker. I tried to do this earlier, but I had a bit of trouble. Then I got it off, but I had to take the camera, turn the camera off because it would take ages. And you can recreate the scene where he has his up in the door and the hand comes off. So when you do put it back, put this hand in, it feels so loose your fingers going to come off, and it doesn't. So you got a fog robot with a course marker, so that's pretty good. Finally, the last one, which is a suicide Dalek from Destiny of the Daleks, which I haven't seen. I haven't seen much of the classics, really. This is basically just a Genesis of the Daleks Dalek, but with bombs. They aren't removable, unfortunately. I've only seen some recreation, figure recreations on YouTube, but there's a bit where the Doctor puts his hat on the Dalek's eye stalk and put a bombs on one of the rails. I wish they could come off and you can put on one of the rails to recreate that. The Dalek is a bit lighter and they normally have five rings, but this time it has four. So it's pretty good, because like, I wanted a classic Dalek. This is the only classic Dalek I've got. Apart from the f black and white Doctor, which I'm not going to open because it's rather just a collectible. So that's about it. Thanks for watching, YouTubers, and tune in for my next review, which is which is the Pyramids of Mars Fourth Doctor.